So in this session, we are going to learn about MSH7, a very, very important field, which is nothing but the recorded date time of that particular message. So let's go back to our HL7 soup and it is nothing but the seventh field. So you can count it from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how you should count the MSH segment, not like any other segment. You should always start with the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We are over here. This is the date and time of the message. When you look over here, this uh, soup automatically converted the date into readable format, which is nothing but uh, 27 December 1999 and 1480. But what we'll do, we'll remove this and we'll try to understand the concepts of it. We'll go back over here and I'll just paste it over here. Perfect, right? Even what I'll do, I'll try to paste this too on the top of it to understand what is it. I'll just zoom a bit to understand. Good. Yep, this 1999 is nothing but the year. This 12 is nothing but the month. Okay. We'll go back. This 27 is nothing but the date. That looks perfect. 14 is nothing but the hour, which is nothing but 2 p.m. 08 is nothing but uh, the minute. And over here you can see it's 1992, December 27th. Perfect. And it all it also gives us Monday. But uh, to be more accurate over here, you can see this is hours, this is minutes, even there will be seconds in a lot of uh, message. It depends upon your message, how much information it can pass, uh, what is the sender sending. So the Epic is sending only this particular till the 14 hours and 08 minutes. And it can be more. So, But the soup is representing till the zero over here. So even seconds are important. So that's how uh, the date and time of the message uh, format will be in HL7. But it is always important to note when Epic is sending this in this particular format, this year, month, date, hours, and uh, minutes and seconds, but this uh, FBI uh, organization will not be able to understand. This SMS application will not be able to understand this format. So we are going to convert into our different format. <laughs> Even the offset, onset times are important. Even the time zone changings are important. So we are always going to write some different time according to the <clears throat> different set of application. That's where the integration developer, interface developers will be helpful in converting the time and in multiple resources. So it's always important, you remember, the format in HL7 exam, which you are going to write is in this format. So you should never write in any other format. And we are going to know why this is important till seconds and milliseconds. What are the use of it? We'll discuss, we'll discuss now. For example, let's take uh, one example. So if the patient is admitted, there will be some uh, ADT message will be generated and even the time is generated. So it is very important to note the timestamp is crucial for tracking the admission uh, admission of the patient to the particular hospital. So the time is very important uh, in that aspect. Not only in this aspect, even when some financial transactions are going on for the auditing and the recognition and ensuring the transaction which has been done, which has been processed in this particular second, it's very important. For example, if you are claiming the insurance, the insurance will be claimed from the time the patient is admitted till the time the patient has been discharged. And even uh, what all the equipment has been used to the patient, the oxygen cylinder, the room, the hospital building, everything will be calculated depending upon the time the patient has been admitted and is discharged. So even the milliseconds of the time is very important. So it would be very easy to calculate the overall calculations. So no, not only the financial transactions, not only the patient admissions, the timestamps even helps uh, like IT professionals identify when the issue occurred. For example, uh, if I am facing some problem with this particular HL7 message, so uh, the physicians or the doctor or the doctor nation calls and says, hey, uh, and in 1999, December 27th, uh, at this particular time, uh, the messages were not crossing, the orders were not crossing. Can you look over it? And I will again use this particular timestamp and I'll check if I don't have this timestamp. So currently this is 2023 to check 
1990 means almost like 24 years of data it's very very difficult if they are giving on 1999 it's very good if they are giving on the month of 12th is very good so it's always uh, good to ask multiple questions when you are doing uh, troubleshooting the year the month the date and the minutes so in some systems right even from the 14th minute to 24th minute in 10 minutes they'll be like uh, thousands of messages crossing over so it's always good to even ask like from what time the issue has been occurred so the time of the message is very very important and you should always remember the format for example uh, you don't always have this HL7 soup when you click on it it will not always show like this so you will be having something like a notepad like this you can see it over here by watching this you should uh, judge what time it is so I'll just go here yeah this is the time by watching this you should say okay it's 1999 and uh, December 27 so you should always be learning this process uh, by keep on reading HL7 messages that would be very very helpful yep. let's we'll go back to the message so even uh, of the communicating uh, systems can process message in the correct order and understand the temporal context for this for example if epic is processing this message at this time uh, SMS application might be receiving at like this time uh, I'll go and put that okay I'll remove this I'll change it from here okay okay I'll just copy it I'll just keep it as 9 so even this uh, will be helpful how much time this uh, processors are taking the servers are taking to receive the particular message and process it so it might be taking one minute so very very large time for single message to cross from one end to another so generally it will be in milliseconds so in multiple scenarios the date of the message is very important and even in the interviews and the certifications we should always you should always remember the complete 21 to 30 fields of the msh and what are the real uses not uh, by hearting but the real uses thank you